everyone, today's video is going to be a story time all about a client I used to have. I am waiting for George and Amber to come because we're going to be filming a collab together today. So I thought while I am waiting I might as well film a story time video. So this one is a really old one and I just remembered about this story about I'd say a week ago and I was talking about this to a friend and she mentioned about filming it for YouTube so I thought I'd do it today. So hopefully you guys find this interesting but this is about a makeup client. I do makeup freelancing at home and I do all of my makeup up jobs here at my own home because I have all of my setup behind me. It's nice for the clients when they sit down and have their makeup done in these in front of these Hollywood lights. So I like to do it here, but sometimes I will go and travel to their houses. So this was a while ago. Now I would say this was about about five years ago. Yeah, five years ago I had this client, so it's a long, long time ago. This client was a friend of my mum and she mentioned her in passing, just saying, oh, my friend's getting married soon and she's looking for a makeup person and a photographer and a hairdresser and all that jazz. And at the time I was doing hairdressing and beauty therapy. So I was like doing both of them at the same time. So when I was doing makeup jobs, I was also doing hair as well. So it was like a two for one package deal. So. My mum eventually got round to asking me if I wanted to be interested in doing her makeup and her hair for the wedding. So my mum wanted me to do like a friends and family discount for her. I didn't have a problem doing that because she was one of my mum's friends. I believe my mum worked with her at one point, um, but then they like switched jobs or switched areas and they didn't no longer like hang around and stuff but they still kept in touch and like spoke to each other and stuff so yeah I thought you know I didn't have an issue with doing the friends and family discount. Now normally for weddings for makeup I charge £50 for the whole lot and then that's including a trial run as well. For hair it's £25. So altogether this should have cost £75 for the package deal for hair and makeup including a trial run as well which I think is a reasonable price especially when I'm travelling to her as well. So at the time I was travelling to my makeup jobs which obviously you have to pay for petrol and parking and all that jazz. So my mum asked me if I would do a little bit of a discount on that because that's what I normally would charge. So I told her just to pay me 50 for all of it all together. So for makeup, hair and trial run, 50 pound job lot. Mum went ahead and told her friend and her friend agreed on that. She said she loved that price. It was a really good price for her because she was on a budget. So she really wanted to keep her money tight and make sure everything was scheduled and everything was down to plan and you know books ready for the wedding. Now we didn't get around to doing a trial run for this because the timing was just really really short notice like I think I got told about two weeks before so there wasn't any time for me or her to like schedule a day free to do this trial run so we just kind of played it by ear she told my mum what sort of style she was looking for like very natural glowy glow from within sort of look very natural beauty and she had very textured frizzy hair so she wanted it to be like smoothed out and like pinned to the side but left very natural looking so like an effortless glow so that's what she wanted in her whole look for the wedding which I had no problem doing that I've done similar styles like that before on wedding clients who like very natural girl next door look who without looking like they made a lot of effort but still look really nice and pretty for the wedding day so in my head I knew that I really didn't need a trial run because I knew I could do that it's a very easy look for me to do and it's really achievable so I thought yeah that's fine we don't have to do a, tr a trial run um, but it is a good idea if you do do a trial run just because you get to know the client's features and the eye shapes and all that jazz instead of doing it on the wedding day because it can be very stressful especially if you haven't practiced before and then you go straight in the deep end you haven't got time to take it all off and try again so I do recommend doing them um, but time crunch we didn't have the time so fast forward two weeks and it is deep day it is the wedding day my mum picks me up and she takes me to her friend's house because I don't know where she lives um, my mum takes me straight there and it's the first time I am meeting her friend as well so we knock on the door I'm all dressed in my professional beauty therapy tunic top so I asked her where she wanted me to set up my stuff because I didn't know where to put all my things I didn't have like a really fancy um, makeup kit back then I just had like bags and bags and bags of makeup like thrown in a bag I didn't really have a professional train case back then I just had all my makeup stuff Stuff gathered into separate bags like face bag eye bag lip bag that sort of thing when I got in there she told me I could set up on the um on the bed because she didn't have a, like, a table or anything. I was hoping she would have like a side table or a little cabinet I could just put them on, but there was nothing like that. So I just had to like scatter everything on the bed and like sit her on the bed and me on the bed and like just do her makeup there. Um, so yeah, by the time we got to the house though, she only gave us an hour to do hair and makeup. 
like from start to finish and when I got there it was already an hour so then by the time I got my stuff out and set up and my hair straighteners and everything like that I had like 50 minutes left to do hair and makeup so I was like panic mode right then. <laughs> this time her fiance is in the house which by the way I thought was very very strange that they were getting ready in the same house like it's tradition not to see the bride before the wedding but obviously they don't care about that but she, he was in the house and she came running in the room said come on guys you've got to hurry up we've got to get going we've got to get dressed we've got to get to transport we've got to get there early and she was like it's fine you go ahead and now it's traditional for the bride to be a little bit late on a wedding day um but she did say to me you know I don't want to be too too late like five ten minutes max <laughs> at this point I was panicking because he came running in the room like frenzy and like making me like really nervous I was like oh my gosh okay okay calm down I can do this <laughs> everything out and I said to her what do you want me to do first your hair or your makeup and she was like oh if you could do my makeup first just so I know that's done and then if the hair is like you know last minute and rushed it doesn't matter I'll just leave the house I don't really care about my hair I want my makeup done so I was like yeah that's fine no problem so I pinned her hair back to not get any makeup in the hair of course and I started doing her makeup now there was no problems at all her face shape was absolutely perfect no problems there at all um her her face was really nice and smooth she did loads of skincare the night before so she had a really good prepped base which was perfect for makeup so the makeup went on like a dream I was really happy with how it turned out and she loved the makeup as well which was so so good I was so relieved once she said oh my god I love it that was just the best bit for me she loved it as well which made me much more happier and more at ease to know once she gives you that sign like of approval you say yeah it's done move on to the hair I haven't even got time to breathe so as soon as the makeup is done I get straight up plug in hair straighteners and get straight on the hair so my hair was very very frizzy and textured so I had to put loads of like serums and creams into her hair to really work in the hair and control that frizz and then get the straighteners right to the root and then really go through but I had to go through her hair quite a few times to get it silky smooth once two three times for each little strand all the way across the whole head and again she had like this little side comb clip that she wanted in the side of her hair with like little diamantes and pearls in so I like took a little side piece pinned it back and put the comb in and had like a swooping parting on one side which she loved again so I showed her the hair she was happy with it it looked very natural she didn't want it to be like poker straight she just wanted it to be smooth textured so that when she runs her hands over her hair it's nice and smooth and not bumpy which she loved she loved the hair so again I was so happy at this point she loved the makeup she loved the hair and we had five minutes to go until we had to leave so timing wise I did actually really really well which I was very impressed with myself at this point the house was a mayhem like an absolutely mad house she had like five children running around she had flower girls page boys she had, she had her fiance still running around trying to find the rings it was just a mad mayhem mom and my stepdad were doing the photography for this wedding as well so they were doing some photos like behind the scenes while i was doing the makeup and then like the page boy the little flower girl all that sort of stuff the wedding rings they were doing the photos for them so at this point she obviously had to get into her wedding dress and then leave the house so she was getting her wedding dress on um, at this point she had no one upstairs helping her get into the dress so I offered to help her lace the back of the dress up so me and mum were helping doing that while my dad was like taking photos elsewhere so everything was going smoothly there was no like hiccups on the way she didn't like there was no like redoing the makeup or redoing the hair everything went nice and smooth until as soon as she got the dress on we started taking a few pictures of her like in the dress with the flowers you know normal wedding day pictures I came to my mom and I said to her mom how do I ask her for payment because usually I ask prior to a makeup job and then I get paid like the night before or something or like a deposit at least by this time she hasn't paid me a deposit she hasn't paid me a penny so basically I gave my services for free so I was like mom how do I ask her in a most professional way for my money like how do I ask her <laughs> my mom was just like don't worry I'm sure she'll pay you you know just mention it in passing sort of thing but don't come on too strong <laughs> so by this time I was helping down the stairs by picking up her huge dress which blocked the whole of the stairway I was like picking up the dress so she wouldn't trip on it got to outside when she was just about to get into the car uh, we did follow her to the wedding actually we, we stayed at the wedding for about an hour while my mum and my stepdad were taking photos so I had a bit of food at the wedding and it came to the after part where we all sat down for food she did the speeches and you know handing out the presents for the bridesmaids and all that stuff and then it was just like people wandering around and like mingling and I thought this is the time I have to ask her now before I leave otherwise I'm not going to get paid 
So I quietly tiptoed up to the bride and I tapped her on the shoulder and said, I'm so sorry to do this, but can I please have my payment now because I need to leave in about 10 minutes. She goes, oh yeah, yeah, it's fine, don't worry, I'll find my purse out in a minute and I'll hand you the money before you leave, don't worry about it. So I was like, yeah, that's fine, that's cool. So I go off to the toilet, you know, sort myself out, freshen up, you know, go to there before I have to leave. At this point, my mum and my stepdad were packing up their cameras, because they had two cameras, one each. They were packing up all the batteries and the SD cards, the flashes, everything like that. I had my makeup cases in my mum's car ready to go, so that was already sorted. I was still in my tunic clothes and everything, I was just putting my coat on, ready to leave. And then I remembered, oh, she hasn't paid me yet, so I go running up to the bride again. And I'm so sorry to do this again, but I really need my money before I go because I'm literally about to leave now. And she goes, oh, I'm so sorry to do this, but I've got no money on me. And I was like, what do you mean you've got no money on you? She goes, I've got nothing on me. I said, well, you knew the price. I told you the night before. I told you like two weeks ago the price. You agreed to that price. How would you not register in your brain? Oh, I need to get some money out for the makeup artist and the hairdresser tomorrow. Like, come on. <laughs> so at this point, I was just like gobsmacked. I was like... So you knew you didn't have any money, you just told me you were going to get it for me, like lying to me? Like, I don't get it. She goes, oh no, no, sorry, I thought I had the money, but I don't. So I was like, well, you just said you had the money and you'll sort me out. So have you got the money or have you, have you not got the money? I was just getting really, really confused at this point And my mum was just like, Jess, calm down. It's fine. You know, we'll just leave. At this point, I'm getting like agitated almost. She, like, she was getting a bit annoyed that I was like making a little bit of a scene at the wedding. She's like, come on, can you not do this here, please? You know, I'm at my wedding. I'm trying to enjoy this day with my friends and my family and you're bringing up money. I'm paying for my services. I mean, I'm not leaving and with you having your makeup and hair done and me just walking away. I'm not doing that. And then she started getting very upset. She goes, listen, she goes, I understand that you want your money, Jess, but I'm at my wedding right now. I cannot deal with this. And she just like walks off. So I'm just like standing there like, okay. <laughs> like, what the hell? So mom was like, Jess, we really need to get going. Cause she had like work in an hour. So I was like, okay, mom, whatever. So I just left with mom. And in the whole car journey, I was so angry. I was saying to mom, I am not working for her ever again, mom. I can't believe she did this to me. She basically scammed me. I thought she was your friend. My mom was like, yeah, she is my friend. I can't believe she's done that to you. She's never done this before. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.